Right, so <clears throat> I'm making this video um, in order to remind ourselves all the basic, basic things in Judaism that um, where every Jew is supposed to know. Um, it's just the bigger picture of how many commandments and all that. Um, so basically we're going to start with the, the books of the Torah. We know we have five books of the Torah and uh, the five books of the Torah contain 54 parashiyas. Um, and and uh, obviously, on, because there are only 52 weeks during the year, there are parashas that are put together, but it's 54 in total. Um, after that, we know we have the Ten Commandments. So what are the Ten Commandments? Ten Commandments are to know there is a God, to know that there is no other power no, than God, no other God, and therefore you can no idolatry goes together. Number three is not to take God's name in vain. Um, number four is to uh, respect your father and your mother, to honor uh, your father and mother. And number five is to keep uh, Shabbos. Number six is not to murder. Not to murder. Uh, number seven is not to commit adultery. Number eight is not to steal. Number nine is not to bear false witnesses, uh, false witness against your neighbor. And number ten is. Uh, not to um, desire or covet um, anything that belongs to your brother, your neighbor. Um, you mentioned his wife and his belonging and everything he has. So that's the Ten Commandments. Then, uh, from those Ten Commandments, we know that uh, comes 613 Commandments. The Ten Commandments, the head, chap ten, the head chapters, and we have the 613 Commandments. We're not going to mention the 613 Commandments. But um, 613, okay. Uh, by the way, for those who don't know, 613, um, if you take 6 plus 1 plus 3, equals 10. Because 613 are here to um, help us do the 10 commandments, like sub-chapters or ways to increase each one of the 10 to do the 10 correctly. Okay, next is that out of those 613 mitzvot, um, there are also 6 of those mitzvot that we're supposed to do all the time, every second of our life. The six, so six or six of them are uh, six or seven of them are dependent on time. That uh, it doesn't matter. It's not uh, precise all the time. Uh, the se the seven commandments, the, sorry, the six constant mitzvot are supposed to be done every second of your life by men, women, everybody. So what are they? To know there is a God. To know that there is no other power than God. So the same as the Ten Commandments. The first two of the Ten Commandments. Number three. To know that God is one. Number four. To love God. Number five. To be in awe of God. And number six. Uh, not to go after your heart and eyes desires. Um, that uh, that leads you astray. Meaning that brings you bad thoughts. Or um, uh, wrong uh, heretic thoughts. Um, or less. So those are the six um, constant mitzvot. Then after that we have um, the seven. There are seven commandments that are considered Noahide's laws. Seven commandments that the non-Jews have. So anybody who is not Jewish, they have seven commandments. What are the seven commandments? The seven commandments are not to murder, not to steal, not to um, worship false god. Uh, not to uh, is a provision of adultery. Uh, number five is not to eat from a limb of an animal that is uh, still alive. Um, I mean, not to remove or right, eat. Um, so, so, so the animal has to be dead already. Number six, uh, not to um, curse God. And number seven is to set courts. Um, and bring offenders to justice, meaning have a justice system, to, to build a justice system. Those are the seven Noahide's laws. Okay, next is um, how many books are there in the Tanakh? What's the Tanakh? Tanakh was from Torah, Nevim, Ketuvim. The five books of, of Moses, the prophets, and the holy writings. Though there are 24 books of Tanakh. The, the Tanakh is the written Torah. So when we talk about the written Torah, it contains 
24 books containing the five books that we are all used to, the Chumash, the scroll, all the prophets, and the um, and the holy writing. So I'm just gonna read you the names of those five of the 24 books one time. It's, it's worth knowing at one time, uh, at least. So, so the five books uh, of the of the Torah that we know is uh, Bereshis. Shemos, Vaikra, Bamidvar, Dvarim, those most, almost everybody knows. In English, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and the Deuteronomy. Um, not easy to pronounce for a French guy. Okay, and then, then we have the Prophets, the books of the Prophets. So all those books, they're not from the Christian Bible or New Testament or something like that. Those are all from the, the, the Torah, uh, part of the Torah, the written Torah written by the Jews. So here is the books of the prophets, Joshua, um, the, the judges, well, I'm saying first in Hebrew, Joshua, this is uh, Joshua, Shoftim, judges, Shmuel, Samuel, um, Malachim, uh, Malachim is the kings, uh, Yeshu, Ye, uh, Yeshayahu is Isaiah, Yermiahu, Jeremiah, Yechaskel is Ezekiel, and then we have what's called the 12 uh, prophets, um, which are is like one, like considered like one book. The 12 prophets are Hosea, Yoel, Amos, Ovadia, Yona, Micha, Nahum, uh, Habakkuk, Zephania, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Those are the 12. So, so those are the prophets. And we finish with the Ketuvim, which means writings, uh, which is the last part of the Tanakh. So we have the Teilim, which are the Psalms. There are 150 Psalms. And five, the Psalms have five books in them own. Okay, five books, 150 Psalms. But that's, a, that's just the side. So the Teilim, the Psalm, Mishle, the Proverbs, Eov, Job, Shira Shirim, the Songs of Song, Ruth, which is Ruth, Eicha, the Lamentations, Koheles, which is Ecclesiastes, Esther, the scroll of Esther, Daniel, which is uh, Daniel, uh, and Ezra and Nehemiah, they are count as one, one book, and Divra Yamim, which is the Chronicles, uh, the Chronicles. Those are the 24 uh, books of um, of the of, of the Tanakh, it's it contains 929 chapters, and um, taught about is 23,099 verses um, in total. Okay, so that's that's the Tanakh, 24 books. Then we have um, we have the Talmud. So the Mishnah, we know that there are six orders of the Mishnah. The Mishnah is se separated into six categories, the dealing with six main um, uh, subjects. So the first one is Zraim, which uh, means seeds, uh, Moed, which are the feast festivals, Nashim, which is the women, Nezikin, which is damages, uh, Kodashim, which is holy things, and Teoros, um, which is purities, laws of impurity and purity. So those are the six orders of the Mishnah, and those six, uh, mi that's from where we have the whole Talmud. So the Talmud also is, follows the, the order of the Mishnah. How many tractates in uh, the Talmud? There are 60 tractates of the Talmud, some say 63, because Baba Basra, Baba Basra, Baba Messiah, Baba Basra. So all three uh, correspond to one, but so 60 or 63, let, we'll keep to 60. Out of those 60 um, tractates of the Talmud, there are 37 tractates that have Gemara. The rest has only Mishnah, so no Gemara. Um, remember, there's two Talmud. That's for the Talmud Babli that I'm talking about, Talmud Babli. The Talmud Yerushalmi also has the six orders of the Mishnah and also has 60 tractates. The Talmud Yerushalmi has, though, Two more books with Gemara. It has 39 tractates with Gemara. Um, then, 
the next thing we need, oh, and uh, one, one extra thing that people might not know, they are also, beside those 60 tractates, there is something called the minor tractates, which is, there are 15 minor tractates. So, um, we're not going to list it here, but did you know there are 15 minor tractates? And I think uh, we're done. No, almost. <laughs> uh, the no next thing is that we have... Uh, six things according to Ashkenaz and ten things according to Sfardim that we're supposed to remember every day. So what are what are they? So according to the the, the Ashkenaz and Sfardim have the same six things, and then I'll add the four other things according to um, Sfardim. So the six things is remembering the Exodus of from Egypt, remembering that we receive the Torah at Mount Sinai. Remembering uh, what uh, Amalek did to us, attacked us. Remembering the golden calf, the sin of the golden calf. Remembering what Miriam did, which she spoke Lashon Hara. Remembering, remembering Shabbos. Those six is the same for Sfardi and Ashkenaz. And then Sfardim add uh, four more, which is um, remembering, remembering the man that we receive. Then um, we have to rem um, remember what Balak and Bilam did to our forefathers um, in the desert, where they, they, they seduced us with, um, with the Moabite women. And we have to remember also uh, that uh, they, they, we have to remember to, that Hashem, who um, understand. He give, he's the one who constantly gives us the strength, the power to do everything that we have to do and to live. Uh, and the last one, and remembering uh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that they should be rebuilt uh, very soon. Uh, so that, those are the, ten, the ten, six or ten remembrances. And there's the last thing that... Uh, I want to mention that we should all know it says in the Pasuk in the Varim um, uh, meaning what does Hashem ask of you? Five things to have Yas Hashem to walk in His ways to love Him to um, be whole in one's heart and mind um, uh, you know, in, in following him, be completely pure, have a pure, pure thought, and to do all the commandments uh, of the Torah. Those are five things that God wants um, that we have to uh, remember constantly because otherwise I won't do what he wants. So now you have the basic basics of things. Uh, every Jew needs to know all what I mentioned, uh, ideally by heart, but at least I know the number of how they exist. It'll help a lot and you have basic foundations. All right, have a good day.